Hello, 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 and welcome to Kratawa TV. We, I, a Khoisan female from South Africa, will be telling you what it means to be Khoisan in post-apartheid South Africa or in the modern South Africa. I will start off this little series by giving you guys a little background history of why I'm starting this series. So, four or five years ago, I found out that I was Khoisan. And this shouldn't have been a surprise because I know I'm from the Karua and it's mostly populated by Khoisan people. But with the, the racism that exists in the Western Cape, I didn't want to be anything but Khoisan. Because growing up, I've been raised, taught and seen how um, Khoisan people have been treated and I've been raised to hate them. Um, which is something we'll get into later into this series. Um, so this started a, a lot of questions in me, like who are the Khoisan people, what do they do, and who qualifies as Khoisan, and how does this change the, the current land debate, or how does it contribute to the current land debate. So with this, I marched on to UJ, University of Johannesburg, did my undergrad there, did my postgrad in honesty, but the real reason I actually wanted to do sociology the most was actually uncovering my roots and studying my people so that I can contribute at least just a little bit of Khoisan history and, 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 and educate people on what it means to be Khoisan. So um, my masters, so a lot of my, my, my undergraduate and postgraduate studies were forced upon me not necessarily forced upon me, but it was already pre-chosen by the department or the faculty and there was not really much uh, space for me to move around and actually find my identity or do a topic that I'm interested in. So come my masters and I get the opportunity to study my people. So I did this by examining the interplay between resistance and identity formation in the Khoisan people of um, Kimberley. So here I am in Kratoa TV telling you guys or educating you guys on the findings of this master's project. So it starts off with a little bit of a, uh, an intriguing discussion for me on um, the 2017 protests or protest movement that took place um, from the Eastern Cape to the Union buildings where um, a group of Khoisan people were marching um, to submit a memorandum um, at the Union buildings in Pretoria. Uh, till this day, they are still there. Um, this was, they did this in 2017, December. Till this day, they are uh, still outside the Union buildings, um, waiting for feedback from uh, the President. In the memorandum, they asked to be um, acknowledged as the first people, number one, for the disbanding of colored as a label or a racial category in South Africa, recognition of their languages and some form of land um, redistribution or access to their lands. Yes, and that's what brought my study or that's a little background of my study. Um, in Kretoa TV, we will be talking about all of these and also we'll be looking at my personal experience because remember, this is a, a, a self, a journey to self-discovery and actually finding out what it means to be Khoisan for me as this was something that I wanted to find out for myself after years and years of being racist myself. So let me give you a little brief background of myself. I'm from the Western Cape as I've previously mentioned. Um, from the Karua area as I've mentioned and um, especially in the Karua uh, there's a very very rich culture of racism that still exists there and this is because the, the mother colony or the Western Cape was considered the mother colony where the Dutch, the British um, first landed and had settler colonies from there on out in the Western Cape but till today you can still see the racism um, arrive there a lot of coloured people uh, who I was confused was, or I was raised coloured um, in my past or as cultural background. A lot of coloured people are very racist. They hate black people, or not necessarily hate them, they have a big disdain for them. Um, and 
this comes from um, white people whitewashing and indoctrinating colored people. Uh, that's why I knew that I wasn't colored, number one, but I was raised colored. Number two, now you remember that I'm, I'm raised in a very racist uh, geographical location. So they also made me hate one, um, the idea of being black. But I just knew I wasn't white. So that's where my first identity crisis came about. Like, what am I? Because I don't want to be associated with being colored. I'm scared of being black because of the racial discrimination against the black people in the Western Cape. And I knew I was not white. So who am I? And this is literally why I'm doing this study. And I would like for you to join me in this uh, series as I go about my master's um, findings and literature review and also just educating us what it means to be colored. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and then we'll have these fruitful discussions on what it means to be Khoisan in post-apartheid South Africa. Thank you.